Thank you for stopping by guys and welcome to the monster inside. Now this is going to be an experimental episode and going to be one of the most, if actually the most complicated episode I've ever done. So I've added a lot of complexity to the video in an attempt to give me more control. So at this point you should see me throw some things around the screen hopefully to explain what I mean by that. And I'm able to do this because I'm, uh, it's really long and complicated. So we're going to try and play this free indie game. If you do want to play this yourself, it is available on Steam. Um, so let's get into this. I still am technically on a hiatus, but I'm experimenting with things, seeing how things go. And I want to see what you think about them as well. The Monster Inside, an auto-visual novel by Random Seed Games. I have no clue what this is about. I downloaded it and forget what it is. My head pounded, ears still ringing slightly. Some of the worst nightmares I've had in years left me feeling like I'd been punched in the jaw. Just like any other day, I dragged myself to the office. There was another notice on the door from my, from Mayor Vanetti's office. Permits out of date. They didn't like me much and were trying to drown me in paperwork. It was a slow month, weeks since I've had any real case to work on, so I passed the time pacing the office, smoking and staring at the mirror in the corner, safely covered with an old bed sheet. I don't dare look at my own reflection. I'm too afraid of what I might see, afraid someday I might have to face what I really am. The girl came in so quiet I nearly choked on my cigarette. Mr. Please, you've got to help me, mister. No, I'm not doing a girl's voice. Fuck that. Calm down now. Sit and talk slowly. Yeah, what can I help you with? You over here... You ever heard of knocking first? Calm down. Sit and talk slow. Okay, thanks. It's just... No one will listen to me. Just tell me your tale. I'm listening. She eyed me with her... With just a dash of suspicion, as I tossed back a handful of pills and chased them down with a swig of whiskey, I could tell this might take a while. Her name was Lily. She told me she was his mistress, the man all over the newspapers, the infamous banker, Mr. Reginald Farnsworth. It's a fancy name. Mr. Farnsworth was a drunk. Phil a drunk philandering bastard. I had to read that word a couple times. But this girl seemed genuinely concerned that he had recently gone missing. Less concerned about the fact that Mr. Farnsworth's wife had just turned up dead in Central Park two nights ago. Oh shit. You don't understand. He just couldn't have done it. He hated his wife, but he couldn't have killed her. I just realized my mouse is... Wee here. It's actually kind of good that it's here because you can see where I'm clicking. But he couldn't have killed her. Everyone thinks it was him, but no one believes me. He's got to be in trouble. Ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? Case looks pretty simple to me. I ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? Well, Mr. Um, Jack, you can call me Jack. Jack, whoever did that to his wife must have been the one who took him. He would have never left without me. He promised me. I'm sure Mr. Farnsworth promised this poor girl a lot of things. Please, the cops won't listen to me and they want to bring him in on charges. You gotta prove it wasn't him before they find him. Honestly, they doubt they're in too much of a hurry. Farnsworth had... Farnsworth had practically the entire police force in his debt pocket. Oh, in his deep pockets. Probably why they haven't found much yet. If they found him and brought him in, it would be due to public pressure. Sometimes a mob with pitchforks is more dangerous than one man with money. You've got my curiosity, but you might not like what I find. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't worry. You've got my curiosity, but you might not like what I find. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jack. Thank you. But please be careful. I don't think this is just any murderer or kidnapper. I think it I think it was a, a beast. 
beast. Okay. The word struck me funny. Yes, it did. Like when you like when you jar your elbow on a hard corner when you hit your funny bone. Not a word many use these days, except in hushed whispers and bedtime stories for children. Oh, they're real enough all right. They just got better at hiding, controlling their unseemly urges. But I hadn't seen any monsters in nearly 15 years, back when I was still a cop myself. That's definitely an interesting theory. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of this. Don't you worry. Leave the detective work to me. Let's not jump to conclusion. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry. You seem like the kind of man who's good at solving mysteries. Sure. Can't you see how busy I am with cases? I replied a little too harshly. Sarcasm wasn't my strong suit. I reassured her some more and she sent and sent her on her way. I didn't want to scare her, but I warned her before she left to keep her doors locked and call me if she saw anything suspicious. I don't know if she was in any danger herself, but better safe than sorry. That night I made my way down to the Central Park. It was a long shot, but maybe there was something there that the cops had missed. Next chapter. Oh, is this all going to be red? Oh my god, this is going to be so... The scene had already picked clean by the cops days ago, but I've kept a knack for finding things others overlook. I was expecting to be able to walk around these. I didn't realize there's going to be all just... Dialogue. Oh, shit. A knack. More of a symptom of a condition. Other less useful symptoms I keep in check... But for the time being, my keen sense of smell would come in a handy. I see a bunch of scratch marks there. It was faint, but I could smell it before I approached the police line. The scent was less of a thing and more of an emotion. Seduction. A strangely familiar scent. I expected the scent of trepidation. Oh, scent of trepidation. There we go. Or maybe even outright fear, but Mr. Farnsworth seemed to have been at the height of pleasure when she left this world. Okay. Brought needing to a crime of passion. I was not expecting this. <laughs> Pushing the thought from my mind, it was time to get down to business. Investigate the scene. Oh, so I can, like, ooh, interesting. A burn mark on a nearby tree caught my eye. I ran my fingers along its length, and it felt a, and it, and felt the chill down my spine. I don't know why I couldn't read that. Reading isn't my strong suit. That's why I was kind of caught off guard by how much reading this is going to be. This wasn't just any burn mark. There was, this was the mark of an ancient magic. It's doubtful the cops would have picked it up on it. Could Lily have been right? Something unnatural was at play here. Okay, so we've got talk of beasts and magic. Is this like a mystical thing that I just didn't realize? Possibly, but I was no stranger to the strange. Investigate the scene. What the hell is that? That blood? Oh, it's a footprint. I see it now. Muddy footprints everywhere. Difficult to pick out anything from the prints the cops left behind in their haste. But cops don't wear $2,000 pairs of carquinos. I think that's how you pronounce that. It looked like Mr. Farnsworth was there that night and walked away on his own two feet. After looking around for a while longer, I realized the park had given up all it was hiding from me. So I trudged back to my apartment and my head hit the pillow like it owed me money. Next chapter. The next morning I was 
reeling from another doubt of ghoulish nightmares, but I tried to hide my discomfort when I saw Lily was already sitting outside my office. She waited wordless as I unlocked the door and ripped down another notice from a mayor's office. I motioned for her to step inside, seemingly afraid of what I might say. She finally worked up the courage to ask. So, what did you find? I've got some good news. Farnsworth may still be alive. Not sure about beasts, but something unnatural is at play. Might be right to worry about monsters. Found the spell's mark. This is what I was talking about, but the magic shit. I wasn't expecting magic to appear. Well, I've got some good news. Farnsworth might still be alive. I probably shouldn't have given her false hope like that, but she seemed like she needed something to hold on to right now. She didn't need to know about the mark on the tree. How do you know that? Where is he? Found his footprints. Seems like he got out safely. There are signs he was at the scene and slipped away. My tone was indifferent towards her as I turned and grabbed a bottle from the desk's drawer. Dryness in my throat made it difficult to swallow my meds. But you don't know where he went. Do you think the news this morning is related? What news? Haven't you heard? Yeah, but maybe you should tell me what you know. Nope. Rough night followed by a rough morning. They found the police chief's wife dead down by the docks. Holy shit. They say it happened last night. Let me guess. Chief Amato is missing too? My face might have betrayed a hint of satisfaction as she confirmed my suspicions, but it faded quickly. Amato was a shit cop and a shit chief. He was half the reason I left the force, but now with his wife dead and I had more questions than I did the day before. The gear in my head started to spin, which wasn't helped by the splitting pain of my temples. As I told Lily I needed time to work and she left slightly dejected, wanting more answers than I could provide. The night after the cops had cleared out of the docks, I would slip down and see what I could uncover concerning Miss Amada's untimely demise. Next chapter. Now, I'm actually going to end it here because, like I said, this is an experimental episode. I'm not wanting to go through the whole game because I, I might actually pick up on this game later. Or, hey, this might even be the first episode for all I know. So I am going to end it out here. This was an experimental episode, so if you did enjoy some of the things I tried to do to make this a bit better, please let me know your thoughts, your concerns, your questions down below. And I will try and address those as soon as I can. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like. Any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace. Thank you.